Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. This is episode 10. Last time we saw the end of Claire's escape from Raccoon City, as she made the antidote to the G-Virus and injected Sherry as she jumped on the train with Leon and blasted away Birkin. So now, we're going to see what Leon was up to the whole time. You can see that after saving at the end of that, we get a Leon B scenario second save file. We're going to load up here. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors. A young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department, Leon S. Kennedy. What have we got here? Guy's a maniac! Why'd he bite me? Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Okay. 
Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. So, of course, we're on the opposite side of the exploded tanker from Claire, so we're not going to be going the same way. No Kendo's gun shop this time. Right off the bat, the difference is our Leon has lighter instead of Claire's lockpick, and he has a VP-70 instead of Claire's uh, Browning High Power, which has 13, er, which has 18 shots instead of Claire's 13, but it actually does less damage. Still plenty of zombies out here. Another thing is that the B scenario feels a bit shorter, more truncated than the uh, A scenario. So this might actually- oh shit, I didn't even see him because he was directly in front of me. Um, this might be a bit shorter than the Claire playthrough. But uh, we're now behind the RPD instead of in the front. We're in sort of the, uh, I guess, the garage entrance area. And you may recognize this as the place where Claire got a valve handle. Not here for Leon, though. Unlike Resident Evil 1, Leon, despite being the male character, is not the hard character, so he has eight inventory slots, too. And if we try to go back outside... Which is why that happens when we play as Claire, since that leads back out to the opening area. But we don't have to come back here, so we don't have to worry about those zombies we let out, or let in. Lady is in our way. Come on, lady. Shuffle on out of there. Hey! Get over here! Hurry! I can't set her down. I'll drop you a rope ladder. Grab onto it. Come on. Just a little more. And thus we learn how this helicopter ended up on the roof, on fire. And for some reason, even though I know that happens, I still refer to this as the helipad. Even though it's actually just a little piece of roof and I guess the helicopter does not fit here. So we're still going to need a valve handle to put out that fire. But obviously it's not in the same place it was when we were Claire. So we're going to have to look around a bit. In addition to items being in different places, we also have to deal with different enemies than we did as Claire in some rooms. Some rooms are the same, uh, but some rooms actually have harder enemies earlier because, you know, we're supposed to already uh, be familiar with what we're doing. Crows are still here, though. A lot of things like that are the same too, just like places where you can find little ammo piles. 
So here's the valve handle here. Though I would like to get the map out of the safe. Without having to kill all these guys. Just by sort of luring them out of the office. Oh. I think I almost got screwed by the camera there. It's alright, we got plenty of maneuvering room, just don't step on that guy's head. Or bite me. Alright. This guy's almost out of the way. Jesus, I wish they'd walk a little faster. He's stuck on the desk, too. Alright. He's out of the way for the moment, so we'll just circle around. Uh, we want to be quick, because I don't want to get stuck in here. The safe combination is the same as when you're playing as Claire, so uh, I wrote it down, but let's see if I can remember it without looking at my notes. Two, two, three, six? Yes. I don't think that code ever changes. It's not like Resident Evil 3 where they try to switch that stuff up on you. But I just wanted to get the map. Also, this ammo. Alright, let's try to get out of here without getting bit. Okay, guy right there. Oh, I fucking walked into him. Alright, well, we're just gonna go past him now. Or... He's a tough guy, he didn't even go down. Another change is that Leon actually has more health than Claire, so he can take a few more hits. You can see we're still fine, and that would've put Claire into caution. Alright, we've got the map, we've got the valve handle, now we gotta go back upstairs, since we still don't have any of the station keys. hit an item box soon as I'm almost out of space. Alright, the... No, we just need to go back to the helicopter. I was like, the fire is this way, but the helicopter is this way. Come on, Leon. Tank your way through that door. And we know what we're going to need that for later, but I'll hang on to it for now. As one of you helpfully pointed out, I actually didn't know this, there is ammo in the helicopter. If you search in the right spot, I believe if we were in scenario A for either character that would be pistol ammo instead of shotgun. But now the fire's out, and we can go to the chief's office. seeing that as Claire. Hmm. So, this is unique to scenario B. This is Mr. X. He is a... he's a big old tyrant. Quite different than the Mansion Tyrant that you see in Resident Evil 1. And, uh, we're gonna be seeing a bit of him. The only way to really get past him is to take a hit because he's really quick on that little punch, and then he'll try to do an overhead slam, and that's when you run past him. We know that sound. There are liquors in here. Of course, we can just sort of sprint past him. Kind of uh, awkward in these tunnels. These tunnels. These specific hallway there, they're kind of awkward to maneuver. So, they have a bit of an advantage. I believe there should be some ammo in here that you can't see. 
This is, of course, also where we need to put the two stones in. So we don't have those yet, but we need the blue card key. It's the same card key that Claire gets from Marvin Brana, but uh, I guess we're not going to be seeing him yet. Liquor surprise. And we should run right past him. Alright, so now that we've got the blue card key, we're going to have to go down to the main lobby. Obviously, since we're on the second floor, we can get there from the emergency ladder. Oh, oh shit. Oop. That's bad. Alright, made it to our first safe room. We've already read that. Just about how creepy the chief is. And old keys, or small keys in this case, are similar to the old keys in Resident Evil 1, in that uh, because we don't have a lockpick as Leon, we need to use those to open the things that Claire could open with her lockpick. Alright, so let's ditch the knife, uh, ditch the ink ribbons, ditch the valve handle, ditch the shotgun shells, and just stick with our pistol. We've actually got a nice little pile of ammo already, but we're going to need to use some of that soon. Alright, so before we go down there, head towards the shuffling sound. Quite a few more zombies up here than there are in scenario A, as they're actually guarding something you can kind of see back there. That little brown circle. Alright, that's all of them. It's the unicorn metal. Quite a bit less trouble to get than it is for Claire, and now we can just go down and pop that in to get our spade key. All these doors are locked until we use the card key. Also, a shotgun, just lying on the counter. Eh, we don't really need that. Just gonna take up space. Alright, so now we've unlocked our way to the rest of the police station. Now we can head back out front where Claire came in. However, there's not too much of a reason to come out here, unless you're looking for special costumes. But, since we're out here, we'll grab this plant, and top off our health. And that's about it. There's nothing really out here right now but two zombies. Oh, right. We should probably use our unicorn metal before I forget. So obviously we've got the spade key now, but uh, can't I remember where to use it without looking at the map? 
Oh, we gotta go this way anyway. I didn't pick up that old key, though. I'm gonna want to do that before we continue. Deposit the shotgun while we're here. Because we don't need it just yet. We'll keep the small key. Uh, I think, actually, this is a good, probably a good spot to save it for the first episode of Leon's campaign. I'm Shadefire, and this is episode 10 of Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Next time, I think we'll be need meeting a new character that we did not see as Claire. Obviously, Claire had her support character in Sherry. Leon, however, has a different support character. Who, if you've played later Resident Evils starring Leon, you'll probably be familiar with. Until next time, you folks all have a good day. <laughs>